Hi there folks, I'm here to share one of my favorite tools for capturing student voice, which is Flipgrid. Flipgrid is an awesome, cool video response option. Uh, you pose your question and then individuals are able to record their answers uh, and they're limited to a minute and 30 seconds. Uh, really easy and available across platforms. It works both on the web as well as on Android and Apple devices. So if you're on the Flipgrid site, just sign up for a free account. They have a free account option now, which is awesome. Uh, you can upgrade as well as you go along. And once you're in the dashboard, you're going to see that you have your grids. A free account lets you have one grid. You can always upgrade to have several grids. And then within that grid, you can have as many topics or conversations as you want. Now you can share the whole grid if it was a novel study you're exploring or even an area of math that you want to capture their thinking of. Uh, for this one we're just getting ready for a book chat. You can see I have two questions. If you want to add a new one just click on the plus sign and you see you can quickly add in your topics. You can record your question or add a text question and then you have all your controls on the bottom. Once your question has been set up, you can click on your question and you're going to see here you have a code. That code is how students would join your question from uh, online or with the app. They don't require an account with Flipgrid to actually respond. So if we go to our introductions here, you know, I'm going to go to the topic so I see the full grid just like the kids would. And I can just click on that green plus sign to add my response. I see that the question is there on, and I can't get this to work, I'm not very, there we go, the question's on the side, so I have that there as I'm chatting, and it's going to count down for me as we're recording so I know uh, when my time's going to run out, and I can say, hey folks, and then check and see if I'm happy, because if not, I can re-record. If I like it, I'm going to snap a thumbnail. That is not a good one, we'll do it again. Oh my goodness, even worse, but we're going with it. And that's it, it starts uploading our video. But the really nice thing I like that they've added is that the email address now is optional. Uh, so really for our K-8 friends, a lot easier for us to have them access the resource. Submit my video and that's it. It's part of my collection there. And that's Flipgrid in a few minutes.